industrial relations I want to point out because it really does in New York State where they have lots of powerful unions still compared to other states in this nation. Obviously, if you're talking about the Industrial Revolution, unions, that was when the clashes were probably the most well publicized. Really looks at union relations. And if you want to say just what the general lay of the land is, the point I want to raise now, unions have become much more open to I.O. Because before when it was called industrial psychology, even just the name suggested, where do you think those psychologists were on the side? The workers or the company? Anyone? Company. If it's called industrial, the industry? I, I know it could go both ways, but it, to the unions, we're calling this person an industrial psychologist. He's going to be sent in to look at, oh, they want to help us by sending in a spot from the industry. That used to be the distrust level, very high. Not tarred and feathered high, but still pretty much up there. Now, unions are more accepting of IO psychologists saying they really want to understand what works best in the workplace for all parties involved. They don't take sides if possible. Now, general thing I want you to remember, which is more important, some people, depending on your class, they may make a uh, claim one way or the other. My answer is you need to focus on both. You'll come across a term when we talk about the chapter two called triangulation. You might have heard of it. You might have taken uh, courses where you learned how to use GPS equipment. But it simply means you get different answers by using different methods. They can help you zero in on a more accurate conclusion. Because think of it like this. How many of you even have your ears perk up when you hear about a field or some sort of news blurb that says, oh, a study has shown that this is good for you? Are, okay, A, so are they good or bad for you? Oh, hell. Thank you. Who said both? I heard. He's right. How many of you heard eggs are bad for you? High cholesterol, right? But how many of you have ever heard eggs are good for you? Well, they can put, um, what is it? Omega 3s, DH omega 3s in there now. And they are an excellent source of protein. Rocky proved that. Right? Which is it? This causes cancer. Now it doesn't cause cancer. Chocolate's bad. Now chocolate's good. Coffee will kill you. Nope, not coffee will. It helps. It's great for you. I don't need any extra, as you can tell. So, which is it? Well, you're going to find what drives people nuts is they often say, well, one study says this and one study just contradicted. But now you're going to find and learn about something called a meta analysis. Have you ever heard of the term before? Well, scientists don't do one study and go, we found the answer, we're done, move on. No. People keep doing studies, even if something says it found an answer to the question. So, what you got up? Because how many of you have had to do diagnostic tests of some kind? You just do one and call it a day? You do more than one, don't you? And if I'm not mistaken, you also kind of try to get a general picture as to what all the diagnostics say at the end of the day, right? Some might have said positive, some might have said negative, some might have been inconclusive. It's that way with medical fields, too. You'd be scared to death if you actually knew what went on in the hospital. Just as much art as science. Can you pull all those studies together? Look at them in one big pile and say, as a whole, this is what they're supporting. Yeah, you can do that. We'll talk about meta-analysis. Okay. But you need to know both. Like for teams, you're going to need to know about selection and training. How do you get your members? Right? Do I want to get the smart kid? Do I want the quiet guy over there mumbling to himself, rocking back and forth? But also, just because you know as well as I do, if you follow the Olympics, basketball team, they won gold this time, right? When was the last time they won gold before the 2008 games? Anyway, 2000. If you follow basketball, you would have, be, would have been surprised to know that the U.S., most of us might have thought of the Olympic team from 92 with Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan. They were the laughing stock for about a good four to six years running. They, didn't, they weren't the best in the world. They might place in the top two or three, or they might not. That's why this was called the Redeem Team. Just because you put the best in one room doesn't mean they're all going to play nice together. 
You know this from personal experience. But you also need to know about groups, change, leadership, O factors. How do you take the pieces that you got and make something more out of them? Uh, just as a little summary here, if you're interested in kind of some offshoot fields, big one, you might position yourself. This one will still be growing by leaps and bounds by most projections. Human factors and ergonomics, person-machine person interaction, tools and equipment, and machines that are compatible with human skills. Just because you can build a better tool doesn't mean that it's going to be the most used. Okay? iPod, synonymous with MP3 player. There are tons of them out there. But that one was positioned to be the MP3 player for a lot of reasons. How do people process information, use machinery efficiently? If you're interested in that question, that's there. Vocational career counseling looks at your individual strengths, weaknesses, values, and these preferences help a person make better decisions about themselves. It's not touchy-feely granola mysticism, but instead saying, well, we're trying to figure out things on an individual basis. A little bit of I, where do you fit best, but a little bit of O, what context do you function best in? Heck of an introduction. But right now, take a look at the website later on. We'll go ahead and deal with Chapter 2 next time. We'll talk about the bogus starting off with the class there. Make sure you do your exercise by 1 p.m. Thursday, turning it in there. See you guys later. See ya.